Guys, today we are here at Goodwood Festival of Speed. There is nothing better on a Sunday morning than a bit of none. I'm not saying it. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Today you join me at the entrance to Goodwood Festival of Speed, the Sunday event. And we're feeling very, very lucky and very grateful this morning because obviously yesterday was cancelled for the first time in 30 years. Um, so yeah, good news that it's on today and we've got a ticket for today. I was reading their comments on Instagram and there are people like that had flown in from Portugal and stuff. I saw someone and obviously they were only there for one day and they couldn't make it. So it's a real, real shame. But anyway, we're gonna have a good day today, hopefully. It's incredibly busy. Quick time check, it's 8.30 in the morning. So we probably should have got here a little bit earlier, maybe. It started at maybe. seven. It's definitely rather windy but obviously not as bad as yesterday. And um, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. I thought I'd film a video today to show you guys around a little bit and see what we get up to. There's a load going on. And I, I actually came here maybe when I was 12 the last time. We actually, a guy pulled up in a Range Rover Sport and said, would you like a lift? We were, we're a family shuttle and we said, yes, please. So we got a lift right up to the front. And he said that it's a lot, lot bigger now. And trying to get it all crammed into one day could be quite tricky, but we're gonna try our best and see as much as we can see. gonna be a noisy vlog this isn't it <laughs> okay we've got our wristbands all sorted and we're just heading down now I don't really know I haven't actually seen a map yet um, or where we should head so I think we're just gonna walk and see see what we see there's already a very nice selection collection there is. of cars if you have a car like us. this you get to park it yes <laughs> we've got a pasta Ferrari here <laughs> it's literally so loud here, I love it. We're just walking through something called the Ballroom, which is, I think it's mainly F1 cars down here. Which, I mean, I, I don't not enjoy F1, but I, if, it's not really my thing. I'd rather go and see some other bits, but we'll have a little look through here. There's some very cool looking things. That's a little Porsche, look. So high up. That's it. Very cool. ton of food stores and I'm really hungry. You can smell like the sausage and the bacon. So we need to track down what food we want to go for. This is actually the same food that's at the um, like the Sunday Breakfast Club and stuff we often come to at Goodwood. I feel like cars and food are my love so we need to find some very good food here. Big news, I've sold the L322 and this is my new Land Rover. <laughs> to be honest with you, it's probably got a lot less problems in my car, hasn't it? This probably wouldn't break down as often. It's so funny, like literal, literal sofa, like padded seat. A bit like a stick gear ship. Like polar opposites of each other. So we're now in the stable yard and then BMW have got this whole thing as like their stand and I guess they've got like the best stand in the place because it's so cool. They've literally taken over this entire bit. Like you guys know, I used to work for BMW and I came here for the 7 Series launch. The, oh, what was it? The G, is it the G11? G10 and G11, have I made that up? I'll need to double check that. And that was where they did like the launch and we drove it around the Goodwood track and also on the roads around here. But yeah, it's really cool. We've stopped for some breakfast right next to the toilet. It's a lovely choice. We're getting a Goodwood sausage 
kebab with some ketchup. Sausage, yeah, do you want some? Oh, brag, yeah. All right. We've got quite a lot still to look around, um, but we thought we'd stop for some food because we're a little bit peckish. Hopefully I'm doing a good job at showing you guys around, but obviously I want to enjoy it for myself as well. So I'm trying to like balance it. Thank you. Here we are. Sausage bat. Oh, it's like that. Sausage patty. Sausage patty, fair enough. Wasn't expecting that. I was gonna tuck into this. And yeah, I hope I'm showing you guys enough, but I'm like really enjoying it myself as well. And I'm just sort of trying to remember to pick the camera up as and when. Hope you're enjoying this video. It's a bit different from my usual style of video, but let's give this sausage bat a taste test. Nice. I'd have preferred actual sausage probably, but it is very good, nice and warm. Very satisfying, but we do need to find some coffee after this. So we're currently at the start line of the actual track, and it's actually quite cool. I feel like normally you'd want to see them going really fast, but we can actually see them sort of pulling up slowly and get to actually look at each car. And it's not too busy here either. I feel like people probably want to see them actually going around the track, but it's quite nice to see this bit as well, isn't it? Oh, still out there. Very noisy. I'm right next to the helicopter landing field, I suppose you'd call it. Um, and also, loads of Schmee's cars are lined up just behind me, so we'll have a quick look around them. are cool I think they're amazing and some of the technology and the, the speeds that you can get up to and stuff but just more about the old cars I don't know what it is I'm way more excited to see some of the stuff back there than some of the like paddocks with the brand new electric models in um, I don't know about you guys comment below are you like more on the older or the newer side where's your sort of passion lie I don't know we were both saying it weren't we we saw what was it there was a, um, a new Aston Martin by our house the other day and although, yeah, it's cool, it's an Aston Martin, like, it wasn't that exciting. Then on the way here we saw an old V8 Vantage, and then we were like, now that's cool, and that gets us way more excited than the, the brand new models. There's a bit too much electric here for my liking this year. I know it's the way we're going, but it feels like a lot of it's all about the electric. A huge, huge focus on electric this year, but there are a few of the older ones creeping in, which we still like to see. But this is the supercar paddock behind me. We just saw some 1989 and 1990 um, Porsche 911s by Singer and they're just so cool and that's just so much more exciting than like a brand new, I don't know, electric Porsche. Just so, saying that, that is, that is quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, I think I prefer that. <laughs> Cheers. Hmm. Good thing there's some nice cars to look at here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Urban have got a whole stand here as well. Very cool. They've got a certain look about them. Now, do they know if ever the uh, little, if the letters came off the bonnet there, I could uh, help them out and stick my ones on because I know how to do that. Just let me know, yeah? We've got a new Defender here and it's amazing green colour. Very cool. I feel like I will own a Defender one day, it will happen. Whether or not I go for a newer one like this, or one of the older ones. Our friends Callum and Alex have got an older Defender. What year is that? That's 99 I want to say, but I'll double check myself there. And it's very cool. And they're completely ripping it out and modernising it slightly, but keeping a lot of the old features and it looks amazing. But I do also love the newer one. And then you get like the luxury and the comforts inside as well. But then also it's brand new, so I'd be scared to like off-road this and scratch it up because it's a brand new car. Sometimes having the older one, you do get your benefits like that. And I guess if we did do an upgrade at some point from the R322, would you guys rather see a newer Range Rover or a newer Defender? I don't know. It feels like there's a lot less space inside this than ours. And I already complain about like the size in our BMW, so I wouldn't want to like move to a car that you think is another big car and then it's a small car again. We've got the new Range Rover Sport here as well. I don't think I've actually seen one in person before. Yeah, we did in Manila. You did in Manila, but I, oh, I wasn't no. there. It's so chunky at the front. It's crazy how much car goes so far down, whereas in ours, like the, the front is just so much higher up the bumper. First time sitting in a 
brand new one now and I, I can't believe how little there is inside it. It's just literally, like, it's just so clean. It looks like a, a cabinet in a kitchen more than a car with just like an iPad stuck to it. It's just like literally a start stop button, gear shift and then the screen in front of you and that's it. It's just so slick, so clean. And I guess all the things are hidden. All your cup holders and things are hidden down here but it's just lovely. Very smooth. the best day let me know in the comments if any of you guys here were over the weekend i think next year maybe like to do two days instead of just the one because there is so much to see it's a good number plate look a 911 mm. come on hum there's been really good number plates here as well today i saw a lasagna one earlier obviously shmi's number plates are very very good a bit personalized to him however he walked past us as well and didn't get to say hi but he was on a man on a mission so now we're trying to find the car um can't see it, George, can you? <laughs> this is a very big field. Uh, if we were in the Range Rover, we could have used the key to sound the alarm, but it is still in the garage. It went in for service about a week ago and we haven't heard nothing since. So we're waiting to hear back on um, what's going on with the white smoke and with the air conditioning. But I've actually started a video about this service, but I haven't managed to film the rest of it yet. So this is probably gonna go up first. So the next video on the channel is about this white smoke that I mentioned, I think recently. And then we'll have to, finish off that video after this video if that makes sense you're gonna have this video is a sandwich either side there's a sandwich of um this other video i'm filming right now but we can't finish that video until the car's back from the garage so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video today a bit different but thanks very much for coming along today if you did enjoy it give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll see you very soon in my next video when we talk about this white smoke on lucy on cars very soon Goodbye, cheers.